new technology is making its way into the municipality of Boya at the uh, campus of the National School of Public Works out there in Boya we find a group of people building wind turbines with a purpose to generate electricity for the community. Um, for those small turbines, they are there to help in the rural setting um, at the very point. We can, we can pick up people where they are right now. They know how to welder, they know how to, how to uh, work with wood, um, so they are able to construct those small turbines. And it's a small start, it's a small green step that we are taking together with the rural communities to start um, producing electricity themselves to actually be able to produce turbines themselves. The idea behind this kind of technology that we're trying to promote is that it will give access, it's low um, cost and it's built out of local materials to a large extent and it's going to be erected for small communities and the running cost is really low. And what we've done during this uh, training is to train local craftspeople who are able to erect and to maintain them Instead of using their petrol generators, they can go for wind turbines and generate their own electricity for their home usage, for light and for mobile charging to get connected to, to the other world without necessarily paying for petrol. What do they do with this? Uh, the people are able to use some household appliances, they are able to use their radio transistor sets to, to tune in to national and local radio stations and be informed on health, development, politics and other issues. So I think uh, the impact of this kind of technology, the importance is really there. And one thing too is that we're using a renewable energy source, that is wind. There is potential for wind and water energy in Cameroon for small decentralized um, energy production possibilities.